1937. The Hindenburg, the world's largest flying machine, arrives in the United States with 97 people on board. It's the end of a successful transatlantic flight. Moments from landing, a fierce fire erupts. In just 34 seconds, the mighty airship is destroyed. 36 people perish. Many suffer agonizing burns. But what caused the devastating fire? Now, a 21st century air crash detective re-examines one of the most famous air disasters in history. Using advanced computer simulations, we reveal what really destroyed the Hindenburg. Disasters don't just happen, they're a chain of critical events. Unravel the clues and count down those final seconds from disaster. 14 minutes before the fire, the Hindenburg begins its final approach. Static electricity builds up on the ship, spread evenly throughout the structure. 11 minutes to go. Without warning, the wind changes direction. Instead of going around the airfield in a wide sweep, Captain Proust, anxious to land the airship as soon as possible, makes a sharp left turn. Stressed by this sudden maneuver, somewhere near gas cell four, a bracing wire snaps. The gas cell ruptures and hydrogen begins to leak out. Eight minutes before the catastrophe, Captain Proust notices that the ship is tail heavy. He orders the crew to dump water to balance the ship. Then Proust orders another sharp turn, this time to the right, to line up with the mooring mast. The ship is still tail heavy. Captain Proust orders six crew members to walk to the nose to try to counterbalance the sloping tail. But Bruce is too concerned with landing to realize that the airship may be leaning as a result of hydrogen leaking. Four minutes left. The Hindenburg comes to a stop and the crew drop the mooring ropes. Eyewitnesses on the ground notice a fluttering effect near the tail fin. They don't know it, but what they're seeing is leaking hydrogen pouring out of the doomed machine. By 6.25 p.m., Due to falling rain, the ropes are now wet. The electrical charge flows from the metal parts of the airship to the ground. The aircraft's skin, less conductive than the metal, is still highly charged from a combination of the journey and the atmospheric conditions. It's now at a dangerously high voltage. Seeking the quickest way to the ground, a spark jumps from the outer skin to the metal, igniting the leaking hydrogen. The fire roars through the airship. There's 200,000 cubic meters of hydrogen in the 16 cells catch fire. 34 seconds later, the mighty Hindenburg is destroyed. 36 people are killed.